Good morning, Floss Tube. I'm Christy, and this is my channel, Java Girl Stitches, and this is Floss Tube number 42. So, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are having a great summer. Um, you're, hopefully, you're getting to go on some vacations and you're getting to get a lot of stitching in, all the fun stuff. Um, and I hope that you guys are just all doing well and happy. So first off, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, she shared my pillows, the Lori Holt stitch card ones on her floss tube, and I am so honored and so grateful for that. Um, she's so kind and generous and just such a wonderful person and adds so much goodness to the community. So thank you so much, Kimberly. I so appreciate you. And because she did that, I did reach 10,000 subscribers. So thank you everybody for your support. New subscribers, thank you for coming over and checking me out and subscribing. And my longtime subscribers, thank you for still sticking with me all this time. Um, and so with that, I wasn't really prepared <laughs> to hit that many, to hit the 10,000 so soon. So giveaways, I do not have any this week because I am trying to prepare and get together some really good special giveaways um, for all of you. And then I have something else that I'm going to do that will be something that I, I'm i gonna try to design a little pattern that um, everybody could have if they want it. So I think it's kind of my way to thank everybody along with the giveaways. So next video, I will have them already. I'm still coming up with ideas. I'm trying to make them a little bit extra special. So, um, and the pillow tutorial, I know I've been asked on that. Yes, I am going to do it. It just, it's been a little chaotic here. I will explain that at the end. I know I say that every video, it's just some years are rough and this one is, <laughs> is one of them, but we're still hanging in there. So yes, pillow tutorial is coming. Um, I had a couple questions. I do answer, if you ask a question, I do answer most of them in the, um, I respond to your question. So if you go to like your notifications, you will see in there that I have answered your question. But there are a couple that I do get, um, so I just thought I'd answer the, the few I do get um, that are kind of repetitive, that people ask, um, more than one person is asked. So um, what do I cut my sticky board with? It's the same thing Priscilla uses. It's a guillotine cutter and you can get them on Amazon. They have really expensive ones and then they have just regular ones. And it's just a paper cutter that they use like when you were in school. So um, Amazon, just search guillotine cutter and then just choose which one you like. And then how do I attach bows with magnets? Okay, so if I have a metal piece, then I'm only gluing the bow with E6000 glue. I'm gluing the magnet to the back of the bow and then it just attaches right to the metal piece. If it's not a metal piece and it's something I wanna change out, I glue a, a magnet to the bow and then I also glue a magnet to the piece. I haven't used washers because they're really big and I try to keep it where you can't see the magnets, so I just always use magnets, but you are more than welcome to use washers also. Okay, and then I do get a lot of comments, and I kind of wanted to talk about this. So I get a lot of comments with people that are frustrated. They don't know how to finish. They don't think that they will ever be able to finish. You're frustrated, you're, you don't know where to start. And so I want to kind of give you some inspiration and tell you like how I started um, and encourage you that yes, you can do it, I promise you. So like this right here, super simple. This frame was um, from Michaels. It was a dollar, it's just a solid wood frame. One dollar, nice and cheap. And then I just painted it. And back then I didn't even know about sticky board. <laughs> So I basically glued this piece of um, to the back of this right here and just stuck it in here. And thankfully this piece, this um, Ada was so stiff, didn't even need sticky board. But, um, and then I left it like that. And then like, I think a couple years, last year maybe, I decided to just add a little bow to it. So you can start with something really, really simple. You don't need to start with a really hard things and figure out what your style is. 
If you like just simple, then just do a simple frame. If you like the bows, add a bow. If you only wanna do pillows, that's totally fine. Pick whatever works for you and whatever makes you happiest and start, my suggestion is just to start with something small and it's cute just the way it is. It doesn't have to have all this stuff on it. That's just my preference over the years. I've just, I don't really go by the less is more. I am more of a more is just kind of what I like and I like big bows. If you don't like bows, don't put them on there. You don't have to. This is cute just by itself. But my suggestion, start small. Start with something small that you think you can do and then work your way up to something else. So here is another idea. So just take this one I did a couple years ago and all it is just buy a frame, buy a simple frame that's gonna fit your piece. This is just sticky board and then some another board with just some um, fabric on it and I added the daisies and you could leave it like that. You don't even need to add a bow. So if you move from the smaller one and then you wanna do a bigger one, just start buying frames. And you can get them on sale at Hobby Lobby for 50% off when they're on sale and just do that. Don't, you know, overthink it and don't think that you have to have these spectacular, amazing things, especially all at once. And especially when you're first starting. And I'm not going to lie, it, sometimes you're going to get frustrated. And I do. And I know I do a lot of finishes, but it's not always easy for me. A lot of times it's not easy for me. Things don't just come to me. Sometimes they do, but a lot of times I get very frustrated. I don't have any patience whatsoever. My dad and I joke about that because um, I told him, I'm like, oh, I have no patience, dad. And he's like, I know you got that from me. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I said, I definitely got that from you. And then he, he, he laughs and he's like, sweetie, I didn't have any to give you. <laughs> and I'm like, I know. So if you're, you're gonna, sometimes you are gonna get frustrated. And if you throw things across the room like I do, which again, I know it's not nice, it's not good, but that's just my personality. I get very frustrated easily. You know what, it happens. And the best thing to do, just walk away. Walk away and try again later. And so I don't want you guys to think that you cannot do this because you can, just start small. And if you have any questions, you can email me, you can send me messages on Instagram, you can show me what you're working with, and I can try to help you think of something. But don't, and another thing, don't compare yourself to anybody else. Just do what is good for you, what makes you happy. If you love the finish, that's all that matters, and that you're happy and that you've accomplished something. So just trying to encourage you guys, don't, you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Okay. So let's get into my finishes I've done um, over the last couple weeks. So the first one we're gonna start with is um, Farm Fresh Eggs, and this was by The Housewives. And so I have had this cute little barn since last year when it came out and everybody was out searching for them. And I just didn't know what to put on it. There was nothing that really I thought was perfect for it. So when I did this um, pattern, I was like, this is exactly what I wanna use for it. So sometimes you'll buy stuff and you will, it will sit for a year and then you'll find something to go with it. And this is was in the spring section. There could still be some available and they're probably like 50% off now. So all I did is I mounted on sticky board. There is rickrack and then some red gingham fabric. And then on the top, just a red bow, a tan bow, and a little sunflower with um, a cover button. And that's gonna go in here. And that's a simple finish. And I really, really like it, just the way it is. So yeah, save, if you find something, like I've bought tons of stuff that I've saved and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. And eventually you will figure, you will figure out a way to use it. Okay, the next one, let's do, um, this one is House Rules and it is by Little House Needleworks. And I finished it. And so again, this is just a simple finish. This little um, sign, it's in the, it was in the spring section and it said something like baking and it had a farm and there was another farmhouse saying on it. And so what I did is I just took the finished piece and because this is stitched on um, mushroom lagana, mushroom lagana is very thin. So for me, I put batting on the bat it, between this because I just think it looks better. 
And then I just added some rickrack around it. And then um, I added um, sticky board with some fabric and I glued it down to the outside of the frame. So it's kind of, you know, it's just on, basically on top of the frame. And then over here, I um, stapled some greenery with the staple gun because hot glue is not cutting it with the greenery lately. I'm not sure why, but you can, if you do have trouble, an another thing, if you have trouble with greenery, you can staple it, just kind of put your bow where you want to put it. And then the state, then you can staple it in and the bow will cover it and you'll never see it. So then I have some twine and then I have um, a little heart and the wood hearts you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and then just paint them any color and you glue them right in. And so that is my finish on that one. And that's gonna go up here. Okay, my next finish, I finished this last year, um, stitching it, but I didn't fully finish it. And I tried a whole bunch of ideas to try to make it different. And sometimes, you know what? You just gotta go with what Priscilla does because her finishes are really great. And so that's what I did. I went and I used the um, this metal tin bucket, which is at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm not sure if it was in the spring section or not, um, but I'm sure most of you have seen it. So what I did is I mounted this in this again just magnets to the back of this, I glued it to the back of the piece, and then it magnetizes right to this metal tin bucket. I don't even know what this is, bucket thing. And so then I stuck the other one up there, the top part, and then I added a bow and a daisy again. And then in here, I just stuck some greenery, added some more daisies, and a couple of the um, gingham hearts, some hearts, stars. So I'm happy with that one. Is a really cute idea, and I went with it. Okay, <clears throat> my next finish I did is I did one more um, of the Lori Holt pillows into a pillow, and this is the cute little snowman. And again, there's a little bit of rickrack in there. This time I stuck a little snowman bow on there and gingham, red gingham fabric and add it to my collection of all my the rest of them. So they're, and they are pretty easy to make. And then if I don't, I basically do two things. I either do the uh, rickrack right there or like on this one, I add a little bit of fabric and I put some stitches in. There's so many possibilities. And I've seen some people make some other pillows not using the, the stitch cards. And I've done that before too, that the possibilities are endless with these. I'm just on a Lori Holt kick stitch card thing right now, so. Okay, and then my last finish is, this was um, a freebie by Melissa from Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. Sorry guys. Um, if you have not gone and check, you, she's on Instagram, so you can follow her there and I will put her in the show notes. And then in her um, profile, she has a link to her blog and she has so many cute free patterns and she's amazingly talented. So as soon as I saw this, I wanted to stitch it. It's simple, but look how cute that is. It's just adorable. And she has a little house that matches it too, which I wasn't gonna do any summer stitching this year just because I have too much other stuff, but I was like, I'm gonna squeeze this in. And so I just made this into a pillow. And at the top I have um, some bow, some twine and a little bee button. In the back, I just sewed in the middle. And sometimes, um, some of my pillows will have um, something that covers the back. That means my whip stitching was not good. And some days my whip stitching is okay. It just depends on the day. So there's my, um, my last FFO. And that was a real fun one. Definitely go check out her site. You will find so many cute patterns there. <clears throat> okay, and then I saw on Instagram, um, her name is Melanie and her Instagram name is a bit of scrap stuff. She is an amazing stitcher, an amazing quilter. Um, and I saw this um, on her feed. And so what this is, is it's a little makeup box. Who knew, right? And she had little stuff in here, 
She had some of her tools for sewing up here. This is a little pin cushion from Fat Quarter Shop, which I bought and I didn't know what to do with. Well, she had it sitting right up there and I'm like, well, how cute is that? Like, perfect. And then on here, this comes with just a white blank. It's just white. There's nothing on here. She had, I believe, a Lori Holt sticker on there. And I'm like, I wanna do a tomato. So what I did is I went to my silhouette. I went into their design store and I was able to pull this up. I just put in um, tomato pin cushion and this came up. So I put this together with vinyl and put this on the front. And look how cute that is. And it's got like little in here. I have my little clips. I have my Lori Holt little tape measure in there. You can stick whatever you want in here, but I mean, how cute is that? So totally got the idea from her, just changed the sticker. I thought it was brilliant and genius. So I will put the link to, um, I don't even have a pen today in here, oh my gosh. Um, I will put the link to this um, in the Amazon store. So definitely go check out her Instagram too. She is, um, she's amazing, very super talented. Okay, um, what else do I got for you? Let's put this over here. So my bench display, I know I haven't shown it in a little while because I've had it um, decorated just with the little farm theme and now I have changed it to um, patriotic, which I did show a picture on Instagram, but if you haven't seen it, then this is what I've done for patriotic. Please don't fall. And hopefully, oh yeah, you guys are gonna be able to see. Okay. So this is a finish that I did, I wanna say a couple years ago, and this was the hands-on design, is it hands-on design? It was a holiday hoopla's. I did not know, at the time, I did not know how to do um, circle finishes, so I just did it as a square. It's kinda of hard to see in there, but, and it's just on a, what is this, a flower sifter. Just magnetize this on here, stuck some flowers, some stuff in there, and then because Uncle Sam, we have a little Uncle Sam here, which came from Michael's. And then of course the cute little truck, they had them all over Hobby Lobby, so you have to have that. And then some beads, and it says Freedom. Oops, and that also from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added some greenery and a daisy. So that's another way that you can decorate um, your bench too. So just pick a, a piece that you want from Patriotic and add some cute little stuff to it, and there you go. So when I lift it up, then you'll be able to see like the little beads there. Okay, I'm gonna put that back and hope it doesn't fall. So another idea for the bench, and I will continue to keep <laughs> decorating them um, for every season and share it with you. Okay, let's get, I did get a couple other finishes done just not FFOs yet. So of course, I did one more um, Lori Holt. I did the sheep. And this is from set um, Stitch Card Set H. It has all the farm animals. So I only have the horse left to do. And there's there he is. It's kind of hard to see that. He does have blue eyes in there. And I did do this, um, the little squares around the blue in there. I did do that a darker color. I didn't have, I think it called for 02, and I didn't have it, so I just used 03. But I thought it showed up a little bit better. And this is on Prim 25 Count Lugana, which all of them are. And I, at first I was like, I'm not gonna do them as pillows, but I changed my mind, I'm gonna do them as pillows. Okay, another finish I did, a really quick one, was the hands-on design Humble Honey. And I saw somebody else, and I believe um, Kathy Haberman, she's hands on design, right? I get confused sometimes. She posted on her um, Insta stories, somebody um, on Instagram had changed the colors and I absolutely loved it. And so the color, the fabric and the colors are, in, are ugh, inspiration from Vicky. And her Instagram name is Vicky's Puns pun sugar quilts and i will stick her um her name also in the show notes i'm going to put that over there so i remember to give all these people credit that they deserve so this is my finish on it
So what I did is I just used Monaco, the tea dyed Monaco, and yes, it's still the stiff kind. I don't know exactly what color she used, but I pretty much guessed um, of what they were. So this is like black coffee. I wanna say this was pea pod. I always forget the name of that pink. I will leave them in the show notes, but, um, and I have, and I love it. And now I just have to finish it. But I mean, just great color choices she used. So I will make sure to put that in the show notes. Okay, what else have I worked on? I finished. Whew, this one, you guys. Project Quarantine. I absolutely loved stitching this until, you guys, it's one over one. Kudos to all of you who can stitch one over one. And I know some of you are doing one over one on like 40 count. This was 27 count Linda fabric and I wanted to die. <laughs> it was so hard, you guys. So this is my finish on this. So you can see the one over one is like the needle and all of this in here is one over one. And I messaged Anna and I was like, do you like one over one? Please tell me you don't like it because it's just so hard for me. And I'm thinking, I don't know how these people do it. I have a magnifier that I use for everything, but it was it was so rough for me. I mean, I just, that's not my talent is stitching one over one, but I was bound and determined to do it and I absolutely love it. And that will go up here too. And I did change the colors on this. So I will put what colors um, I used in the show notes also. So it's gonna go over there. So I remember all that. Okay, um, two other finishes I did. I finished the Serendipity. Is that the top? I want, yeah, this is the top. <laughs> so I did finish that and I love that. And you will see that it matches my shine on, which is done. And there's shine on. Oh, it's so pretty. Absolutely love everything about this one. And it was so much fun to stitch. So I need to get those. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna finish these. I want to do some kind of frame um, and it'll have a bow, but it won't be, again, it's so beautiful on its own. Some things don't need, um, you know, a ton of bows and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's get into, ooh. oh my gosh, my thing just fell. That was one of my whips. I'll have to pick it up here in a second. Sorry, guys. So, and a whip that I just started, and I'm behind on this, but I'm I'm still gonna do it. And that's the flea market flowers. And I do know the right way this time. <laughs> and so I was able to finish that and finish these three flowers. And this is stitched on 25 count barley lugana. And I'm using all the called for colors that um, Lori used because I love them, they're beautiful. So I did make a little bit of progress on that. Not a whole lot. Okay. What would it, my video be without stuff falling off and onto the floor, and, I mean, it's everywhere. Okay, um, and my next one, Farm Girl, Happy Farm Girl. I'm making progress on her. I love this one. I'm to her dress. So I did more border. I'm trying to do the border as I go as much as possible because I have a tendency to leave the border till very last because I'm not a border lover and then it never gets done. So I'm trying to keep up with that. So I did finish the cherries and I finished the word farm and I got her cute little boots and I'm starting on her dress. And I love it. And I did notice this year, I am pick, it's like all the projects I'm picking are ginormous. So when I'm going through looking for um, Halloween projects, I'm like, where is the smallest patterns ever? <laughs> because I don't want to stitch any more ginormous stuff. One sec guys, because I dropped this. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit of a hot mess today. Okay, and my last whip that I just started was Bless This Farm by The Housewives. I'm gonna put that over there. Probably gonna fall again. And it's still in the hoop because I just, I just started it and I was working on it. So that's what I've gotten done so far. Not a whole lot, but I love it. It's farmy and it'll go in here. Okay, please stay. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Um, okay, so that's all my whips and my new starts. 
So last week I shared with you about um, the strawberry stitching that um, I've drug Anna down the rabbit hole with me. So now um, Denise, Anna and I have decided that we want to stitch tomatoes too. So I have the, the home one, the Let's Stay Home that has a tomato in it. So now I'm just collecting tomato patterns. So I'm gonna share with you in case you haven't seen any of these, I'll just share a couple of what um, tomato patterns that I'm going to be stitching. So this is from Monica's Stitching Studio. Look how cute the little tomatoes are. So I'm gonna be stitching them. This was um, from Kelly Stadola and I wrote a whole bunch of stuff on here. It was like color changes. But this is Love to Stitch. So cute. So I will be doing that also. Um, I got Needle Bling Design. Stitching is my happy hour. So cute. Tomato. And I'm not sure if I'll keep it black or I tend to have a little bit more brown in here. So some of these colors might be changing to brown to match this. And then of course, I have been wanting to do this forever. And that's the, what is it, the sewing mouse? Mice in the sewing room. And that's by Brenda Gervais. And I can't wait to get to that one. I kind of went back and forth with colors, but I think I know what I'm gonna do now. And then of course the tomato tart, which I won't do it into a tart, but I, when I do it, I will try to do a video on how to do a circle finish. So you guys can, cause it's really easy. It's a lot easier than I thought. So once I do this, I will do a circle finish. Or if I do another circle, a circle design, I will make sure to put that into um, a video also for you guys. And then of course, Stitching Makes Me Happy by Needle Bling Designs. So cute. Okay, and then my last one is a freebie that I saw somebody um, post. And it is by Lila's Studio. So just go to her Instagram and she, I believe she has a link that will go to her um, her blog. And it, because it's free, I can show you. So super cute. It doesn't give you the colors and I am changing the colors up a little bit on that. I want it to match this one. So I will be using a lot of the same colors in here in the free tomato one. So there are some tomato pattern ideas for you if you need it. And a lot of you probably already have them, but just thought I'd share. Got, you know, if I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole, I always say somebody's gotta go with me. So I drag, I drag as many people as I can with me. It's out of love, you guys. And then um, Jolly July. I've been asked if I'm going to do that. Not, not really, because in July, I really like to start on Halloween stuff, but I will put in a couple um, of Christmas ones. I'm gonna, I think I'm just this year, I'm just gonna keep going in and out, just like a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of Halloween. I'm gonna mix it all together all the way up until the holidays. So one of them I do want to do is the gingerbread, the cookies one, and that's a Lizzie Kate one. And it comes with all of them, but I'm just doing the gingerbread. And yes, this year I was supposed to stitch up all this gingerbread stuff to have a gingerbread tree. I don't know if that's gonna happen. And that's okay, that's okay. I got, what did Lori Holt say, her 400 year plan? I got a 500 year plan, so it's okay. And then this is another one. I love this. This is the Vintage Christmas Sampler, and it's an older one by Lori Holt. But what I'm going to do is I'm, going, I'm definitely gonna stitch the gingerbread, the reindeer, the Santa, and a couple more of them. And what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to, they're basically like the stitch cards. So I am going to stitch them and put them into pillows, but not the same design as this pillow, the, the other ones I've been doing. I'm going to do a different design. So then you guys will have options. If you want to stitch the stitch cards, I'll give you another option of a different kind of pillow to make, which I've made before. And then of course, I'm going, I am going to, I'm slacking on this. I am going to work some more on my prairie schoolers and still I showed you this before and I haven't made any progress on it. So I, I think if I really keep going on the prairie schoolers, I could probably have a prairie schooler tree this year. I won't have a gingerbread tree, but I'll have more gingerbread patterns and I'll just keep working on it and it's okay. Okay. That is that. So what are we at next? Um, my haul. 
Okay, so a couple things I got. Lizzie Kate, a Quicket, and this is called Sampling Halloween. I will not use that dark of fabric, but how cute is that? So see, small. <laughs> I'm trying to go for the small stuff. I did find another strawberry one, and this is also Lizzie Kate, and it's a Quicket, and it's a Flora sampler. But look, it has strawberry. So I had to get that. One, two, three, stitch. I did get this one, and this is um, called Time for God. And I want to stitch that. Very good reminder. I want to put it in here. And this one is kind of big, but it's so cute. And it's by Jordan Purvey. Halloween, I can't, I'm stitching. How cute is that? So this will be a bigger one, but um, it's all DMC. And I'm, I'm going to, it's, it's getting in there. I'll put a couple big ones in there. I'm just trying to stick to some, I want to stitch like some smaller stuff. And then I got also from Fat Quarter Shop. I have the big one, but I wanted the little um, tiny um, board too. Clipboard from Riley Blake Designs. So cute. And that would be cute for a finish too. And then I'm sure most of you have seen this. This is the Stitch Quarterly for um, from Fat Quarter Shop. And it's the Hello Summer. Denise has got, uh, gotten started on this. Mine will not probably get stitched till next year, but it's super cute. Super cute. And if you haven't joined that club, I mean, you get the fabric, you get the pattern. Look at the cute needle minder. You get floss. I mean, you get all sorts of fun stuff in there. Super fun. And a cute little bag. It's like a little confetti bag. So I love that. That's all my stitchy haul. I've been pretty good. <laughs> Um, and then because Denise, I, you, I don't know if you've seen these or not, but, um, if you haven't, you, and you love tomatoes, you're going to need to go get one. Look at this, the tomato bag. So all my tomato stitching will go in here, but seriously, look how cute that is in the back. Pokey dots. I absolutely, I love this bag. I always tell her that's my new favorite bag. They're all my favorite. And then look a little tomato um, thread keeper also. So cute, I can't stand the cuteness. I tell her that all the time. She'll be like, do you want this bag? Do you want me to make you this bag? And I'm like, girl, you don't even have to ask me. You know I want them. So thank you, Denise, I love you so much. And then she made me a little strawberry. She handmade this. So she's gonna teach me how to do these. And it's so cute and I, I think I wanna hang it to my with my strawberry bag or I might just stick it in my strawberry display next year. So I need to um, learn how to make these. And I also wanna make some tomatoes too. Um, I know there's a couple tutorials out there. So I wanna make some to go in here for decoration. Okay, Stitchy Kindness. I did get one from um, Stella and sh she's so sweet and so kind. And she sent me a bunch of magazines um, ornament magazines and you guys there's some of them are older they have prairie schooler in there so they have um prairie schooler um like halloween ornament i was so excited as soon as i saw it i'm like that's a prairie schooler so i can't wait to do that oh and then she sent me love notes which will be for a giveaway and then she sent me a whole bag full of monaco some of it she's dyed and then I have white. So I am stocked up with Monaco and this Monaco down here is soft. <laughs> it's none of the stiff stuff. So thank you, Stella, so much. I so appreciate it. Okay, let's see. I think that's it except for giveaways. Um, a little quick, what has been going on? Oh, you guys. Um, my dad, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, um, he fell in the backyard. Thankfully that Dave was back here and they were repainting the pool and I was inside and he tripped over the concrete and he face planted right into like the gravel, which, and my, it, oh, it was, it was bad. He, he's on blood thinners. So he was bleeding everywhere. He cut his, I mean, his whole face, his whole, his nose, I mean, he was bleeding everywhere, so I was freaking out. My husband is screaming my name. 
from it. And so that scared me. And then Chase is screaming at me, call 911, kind of call 911. So I, that was, it was pretty traumatizing. I, you don't ever want to see your dad fall down and he couldn't get up. So we did call the ambulance. They took him to the hospital. They stitched him up. And I mean, he was pretty swollen. He got, just got the stitches out and he's, um, he looks a lot better now. Um, but he's still, he's kind of just going downhill. He's, his eyes are messed up. We, I took him yesterday. He is going to get the cataracts. Um, he had surgery for that, but they're kind of coming back. So we're going to get that fixed. And then I'm going to have to get him into a, quite a few doctors to see what's going on. Just, he's getting really weak and it's kind of scary. And so it's been a rough couple weeks here. And so if I'm not always here, I know I, I want to be here every two weeks for you guys, but with my family and taking care of my dad, I have to put my family first. And I know you guys understand that. Um, and then John, the same night, John went to the hospital because he start, he works at Vons and he started in a new department and his arms were completely broken out in rashes. Would not have sent him to the ER, but there's no quick cares open. It's just a, a smaller ER. So everybody in this family has been to the ER in the last month, except for me. And I'm like, I am not next. No, I'm not going. Nothing is gonna happen to me. So knock on wood, I haven't had to go yet. So um, otherwise everything, you know, we're, we're doing okay. And Dave um, is taught Chase how to drive a stick shift, which my dad and I were laughing hysterically watching him do it. Because when I was younger, my first vehicle was a old beat up Ford truck and it was a stick shift. And my dad tried to teach me and it didn't go well. When I tell you my dad has no patience and I inherited it from him, he had no patience with me. It was hard to drive as it was, but I'm sure, I mean, it just, it was really hard for me. So my dad might've been swearing at me a little bit and he just passed me off to my mom and my mom actually taught me how to, um, how to drive a stick shift. So we got a good laugh out of that. I'm like, yeah, dad, can you hear that? I'm like, that's, that's Dave teaching Chase how to drive a stick shift. So it was, it was kind of funny. We can laugh about it now, but at the time, oh my gosh, I must've really frustrated him. So, but otherwise everything's going pretty good. And then last week, before giveaways, last week I mentioned that Denise, Anna, and I will be doing something in um, in September on our um, on our Facebook group, but I will it will also be on my floss tube. So what we are doing in the month of sp September, we are going to have an event, and it's called Spooky or Spooktacular September. So what we are going to be doing is we would love for you to join us. We are gonna be stitching, you can stitch fall and you can stitch Halloween, whatever you want the whole month of September. We are gonna have games, we're gonna have giveaways. Um, a lot of this will be on the Facebook group, but I will also come on here and I will do giveaways. We, um, Denise is gonna show how to finish the Blackbird Designs little Halloween socks. So she will be doing that. I will show you how to do a finish, a Halloween finish. Anna will be doing, I'm not sure if she's doing a drum finish or some other kind of finish that she will be sharing with you. And we will be posting the videos of our finishing on the Facebook, but I will also put them on here also. And then I'm going to find some kind of craft, that um, a Halloween craft that everybody could do, and I will show you how to do that. It's just gonna be a whole month of just fun, Halloween fun. So we'll get more of the details ready and together and a little logo. And um, the more we, I know about it, the more, um, then I'll let you guys know, but you guys have until September to um, pick out what you want to stitch. Most people are stitching Halloween in there. So we would love for you to join us on, on Facebook and on here. So um, I will link our Facebook group again in the show notes. Okay, let's get to giveaways. Last week's giveaways winners so let's see so the first um giveaway was the halloween bag and the floss bitties the cute halloween floss bitties and the pumpkin needle wonder and the winner of that is audrey fleming so congratulations audrey you have won this the next one was again the bag with the, um, the pumpkin needle minder and the little ghost um, charm. 
And the winner of that is Krista Williams. So congratulations to you. And then we had, you had two chances to win Lori Holt's Oatmeal 25 Count Lugana. So the two winners of that is Brandy Fox and M.L. Wernstein, W-E-R-S-T-E-I-N. Congratulations to both of you, you have won those. And the last one, there was two chances to win um, Lori Holt's New Heritage um, Lugana. And the winners of that is Michelle Gregerson and Jean Truck Truckee. So congratulations to all of you, to the winners. Thank you for participating. Thank you for um, letting me know what you guys are stitching um, this month. And a lot of you are stitching flea market. A lot of you were stitching flea market. So that was really fun to read. So thank you everybody who participated. And again, I'm sorry that I don't have giveaways this time. I just want them to be extra special and I just didn't have enough time with everything that's going on. So my next video, um, you, I will make sure that there are some pretty good giveaways. I'm working on it. So anyway, that's it for this week. So I hope you guys have a great couple weeks. Um, I hope you just keep enjoying your summer. I hope you're getting lots of stitching done. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. We're gonna get some fireworks this weekend and we are gonna have a big pool party here with all of the boys and their friends. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I love when all the kids are over here. Um, definitely not ready for my boys to leave the nest, so I'm trying to keep them here as long as I can um, and spend time with them. So everybody have a great 4th of July, great couple weeks, and I will see you guys back here next time. Thank you guys.